For which crimes was Mr. Katanga convicted? On the 23rd of May 2014, Germain Katanga was sentenced by the International Criminal Court to a total of 12 years imprisonment after being found guilty as an accessory of one count of crimes against humanity, murder, and four counts of war crimes, including murder, attacking a civilian population, destruction of property, and pillaging. These crimes were committed on the 24th of February 2003 during the attack on the village of Bogoro in the Ituri district of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The time spent by Mr. Katanga in detention prior to being convicted was deducted from the sentence imposed. On the 13th of November 2015, three judges of the appeals chamber reviewed Mr. Katanga's sentence and decided to reduce it. And on the 19th of December 2015, Mr. Katanga was transferred to a prison in the Democratic Republic of Congo to serve his sentence, which he completed on the 18th of January 2016. Mr. Katanga remains in a prison in the Democratic Republic of Congo due to national judicial proceedings against him relating to other alleged crimes. Which principles did the Chamber rely upon to make its decision of 24 March 2017 on reparations? On the 24th of March 2017, Trial Chamber 2 awarded individual and collective reparations to the victims of crimes committed by Germain Katanga. On the basis of a relevant judgment of the ICC Appeal Chamber, the Trial Chamber noted that reparations are intended to oblige those responsible for serious crimes to repair the harm they caused to the victims and to enable the court to ensure that offenders account for their acts. Another purpose of reparations should be to achieve reconciliation, something that awarding collective reparations might be in keeping with. The court must do everything in its power to ensure that reparations are meaningful to victims and that victims receive appropriate, adequate, and prompt reparations to the extent possible. The measures implemented must ensure the safety, physical and psychological well-being, and privacy of the victims. It is crucial that reparations be granted without adverse distinction on the grounds of gender, age, race, color, language, religion, or belief, political or other opinion, sexual orientation, national, ethnic, or social origin, wealth, birth, or other status. How did the Chamber calculate the amount of the damage and degree of Mr. Katanga's responsibility? The Chamber took into account the evidence presented to the judges, the practices of national and international tribunals, as well as the observations of the defense, the legal representative of victims, the trust fund for victims, and the organizations invited to. The Chamber assessed the extent of the physical, material, and psychological harm suffered by the victims, at a total monetary value of approximately $3,750,000. Observing the principle of proportionality, the Chamber set the amount of Mr. Katanga's liability at $1,000,000. The Chamber found Mr. Katanga indigent for reparations purposes and hence instructed the registry of the ICC to continue monitoring his financial situation. What type of reparations will be granted? In deciding what reparations to award, the Chamber relied in particular on the preferences and needs expressed by the victims. The order provides for two types of reparations. Individual reparations, awarded to individuals to repair the harm they have suffered, and collective reparations, consisting of long-term projects covering a whole community, but still focusing on individual victims to the extent possible. The Chamber awarded Mr. Katanga's victims individual reparations in the form of symbolic compensation of 250 US dollars per victim. The Chamber stressed that this symbolic amount, while not intended to compensate for the entirety of the harm, does provide meaningful relief to the victims for the harm they have suffered. The Chamber also awarded specific collective reparations in the form of support for housing, support for income generating activities, education aid, and psychological support. Who will implement those reparations? The Chamber recalled that when a convicted person is indigent and therefore unable to comply immediately with an order for reparations, the Trust Fund for Victims Regulations allow it to use its other resources to complement those collected through the reparations order. Therefore, noting Mr. Katanga's current financial situation, 
the chamber invited the board of directors of the trust fund for victims to consider using the resources available to the fund at its discretion to fund and implement the award of collective reparations it also recommended that the fund consider providing the necessary financial resources to implement the award of individual monetary reparations the chamber instructed the trust fund for victims to contact the uh, authorities of the democratic republic of congo about the possibility of working together to put in place and implement the reparations finally the defense may also contact the fund if mr katanga wishes to contribute by means of a letter of apology a public apology or a reconciliation ceremony what are the next steps the trust fund for victims must present by the 27th of june 2017 a plan for implementing the individual and collective reparations order describing the projects it intends to develop subsequently the legal representative of victims and the defense will then have until the 28th of july 2017 to file their observations on the implementation plan who will benefit from the reparations the chamber individually analyzed the request for reparations of 341 applicants and found that 297 of them presented sufficient evidence to be considered victims of Mr. Katanga's crimes and are therefore eligible for reparations in the case against him. It's no longer possible to submit other applications for reparations. Will other victims receive any assistance from the Trust Fund for Victims? In addition to its case-specific reparations mandate, the Trust Fund for Victims also has an assistant mandate for victims in countries where the ICC has opened an investigation. Under this assistance mandate, the Chamber urged the Trust Fund for Victims to take into account, whenever possible, the harm and in particular sexual violence suffered by victims during the attack on Bogoro, but excluded from the scope of the case against Mr. Katanga before the ICC. Can this decision be appealed? The legal representative of victims and the defense may appeal the order on reparations within 30 days if they so wish.